So patch 17 for Anno 1800 dropped the other day and we got a little bit of a surprise in store for us. An unexpected surprise because this was not supposed to come with the patch and they made a little oopsie, but we get the benefits of it. Mods are now integrated into the game, or at least mod support is now fully integrated into Anno 1800. What does that mean for you as the player? So that means you no longer have to download mod loader from GitHub anymore. Mod Loader has been integrated into the game itself. This makes mods so much easier. Honestly, modding Anno was always fairly straightforward. You did have to download a file and know where to stick it in the uh, Win Bin 64 or the Win 64 Bin folder. Let me get that right. Uh, you did have to know how to do that and everything, but as long as you knew how to do those quick and easy steps, you could start modding Anno. Well, no longer. You don't have to do that anymore. Now, all you have to do is go to Nexus or any other place you want to get your mods from, download the mods, and throw them into a mod folder in Anno 1800's install directory, and boom, you will have mods. The moment you start using mods, this screen right here will pop up in your game, saying, please read and accept the following terms to use the mod browser. Um... Uh, <coughs> We do not now do do know they do not condone or endorse any unofficial modifica modifications made to the game. That is, of course, their uh, safety guard, basically. So you as the player can't go yelling at Ubisoft uh, when a mod breaks your game. You still have to use mods at your own risk. They are just giving us the ability to easily mod our games, but if we choose to do that, that is on us, and we have to assume full responsibility for modding our games. I get so sick and tired of seeing posts on Reddit and everywhere else, people yelling at Ubisoft because a mod broke their game. You modded your game, that's on you, okay? However, we don't ever have to worry again about an update breaking mods because there's no more updates to Anno. We're done. Anno's over. It's done. It's finished. Uh, so anyways, once you accept this right here, you'll see down here, modding has been detected. And when you go into a game, let me uh, load one up real fast right here. Let's load up fresh bowels. You can see... Uh, all these different mods you can uh, these are all the mods i currently have in my mod folder and you can turn them on or off at your leisure right here just uh, to determine which ones you want in your game this is very handy right here that way you don't have to have a mod manager anymore either some people use mod managers don't really know why you ever, ever use one uh, you could just go in and delete the folders of the mods you don't want to use but this right here makes it a fairly easy to apply any mods into your game and then hit continue and once it loads up you will have mods in your game and here we are in the game as and as you can see we have mods we have the pescatarian stuff we have our market stalls from the city ornaments mods some different types of warehouses all kinds of fun stuff suits some canned fish and tool production things all kinds of fun mods are now available easily in our game now if you are a current mod user how do you make sure that you have this new integrated mod loader working well let's take a look at that real quick so as a current mod user, you are going to have two Python 35.dll files located under bin slash w64 in your Anno 1800 install folder. I only have one because I've already gone through the steps I'm about to explain. But if you're a current mod user, you're going to have Python 35.dll and Python 35 underscore backup, or I'm sorry, underscore UBI dot DLL in, your, in there. Select both of those files. One of those is the mod loader. The other is the backup DLL for the original Python 35 file. Delete those two files. Delete mod loader from your uh, W64, uh, Win64, whatever the stupid is called, uh, and just hit delete, okay? Once you have done that, then simply go under Anno1800. Uh, depending on what platform you're playing on, I'm using it on Ubisoft Connect, but on Steam and Epic, it's basically the same. You're going to go under your properties and you're going to tell it to either repair file, uh, verify files, those types of things right there. Uh, whatever the verify files option is for you, click on that. It's going to take it a few minutes. And once it's done, 
it will tell you that it has found some files that need to be repaired. Let it repair those folders. And then it will have the, the, uh, the new Python file from Ubisoft loaded up in game. Now, after you do that, there is one other step you'll need to do. You'll need to go back under your Anno 1800 folder, go back under mods. Uh, you should have a cache possibly somewhere. I don't have a cache. If you have a cache folder, it will be at the very top. Delete that cache, okay? Delete the cache. Get rid of that, and then start the game up. Now, it's going to be a black screen for a minute, okay? It's going to be a black screen, but don't worry. Just let it sit there. It is trying to rebuild the archive of mods and everything. So once that's done and it pops up, you should have that pop-up screen that we saw at the very beginning uh, telling you about mods and everything like that. If you don't, this information comes from Tobin and Griff, who is the, um, one of the big authors for Spice It Up. He informed me that if it still does not work, uh, all you need to do is go in and start the game, load your save game, save and exit, and then restart. It has starting up hiccups on occasion, but once it does it once and you get through that initial mod screen, that, that pop-up mod screen, everything should work after that, okay? So again, if you're a current mod user, make sure you delete those Python DLL files out of the Win64 folder, delete the cache, and then verify files, repair the files, let it repair files, start the game up, and you should have the screen. If you don't, simply load your save game save and exit, and then restart the game, and you should be working at that point. And that's all you ever have to do. You never have to worry about updating Mod Loader again, worrying about Mod Loader being broken for any reason. It is now integrated into the game. Simply go to nxsmods.com slash anno1800, download mods. Make sure you download mods that are recently updated. Don't get mods from 2019 and then complain that they're not working because they're probably broken. Uh, one other word of quick warning from Tobin and Griff is that, as far as he knows, some mods can break the game now if the author does things that they should not. What that exactly means, I'm not sure. So just be very cognizant and aware of mods you're downloading and what they do to the game. Check out those comment sections on the mods. Read what they're doing. Read those descriptions on the mods about what they do. And just be aware of what you're downloading to modify your game. All right, that is it for me. I am done rambling. Have fun modding the game and go enjoy. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.